Hi, Auntie Diggy. I am going to make some chomen. It's very early in the morning. Not very, very much. I mean, almost early. But we're going to go to work later, so I'm just making a little bit more so we can take for some for work. I'm making beef chomen today. I have everything set up here already. You can see I have my beef, my carrot, um, beans, um, uh, gobi, cabbage, and red pepper, and onions, and sibi, and a bit of ginger garlic. I have everything ready. So I thought I'll just make a quick um, on live, and then I can save it later. Okay. So you want your oil to be hot. I already cooked my um, tupa as well, so I'm gonna first what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some oops erma powder. I usually make it like in the powder sushi your erma. So I'm just gonna add it. And then we're gonna cook the one that's gonna take the longest to cook. So that's gonna be a beef today. So we're gonna add our sliced beef. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. This cheek and cook this first. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes. Let's cover that. Okay, and let's see what else we need. I'm sure most of you know how to make your chamin. And also, uh, uh, I don't have like a, like a tuppa for chamin, so I use spaghetti. So if you have spaghetti, it works pretty well as well. Yeah, the spaghetti, the... This in there. So this is my spaghetti. Tuppa dorada. Yes. Hello, just let some love. I'm just making a quick um, beef chamin. Now let's see. Hello, I'm just gonna let all of this keep for some stuff. Just for myself. So usually, what I try to do is I try to. Cook the sha first, and then the second thing that I need to cook the like fastest. Ani carrot the beans the tis chi. Kama chicken yala lo. Andi shula. Pepper. Ani gobi. And song la dida and that looks nice dish. But then we'll just wait until the sha is cooked a little bit more. So it's a little early to be cooking, but night shift here. So I thought I'll cook it. All right, so we're gonna put the.
We're gonna put the onions and the green chili in. And I'm also gonna add the ginger garlic paste. Oh, ginger garlic is a lot. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of <clears throat> soy sauce. Tujura. Now we're going to let it cook. So I'm going to be using oyster sauce. This is totally optional. If you don't want to use this, you can use the mushroom sauce. You can just put um, uh, soy sauce, chikpo, flavor. Also, I also like to use a little bit of the beef stock powder. So this is what I use. This is beef powder. Bouillon. I like it I'm gonna add a little bit of that as well. So I love it. So I'll add everything. Nisha tap tap. Um, tubimba. So it won't take a long time to cook. It's going to be done pretty fast. My end is a nice dish. Looks good, right? I'm going to put it down a little bit. So, yeah. For some reason, like... Oh, I don't know why. Fat no I know one thing in so we can see it's pretty much cooked now. Shabby, chop up a bit to go. So it doesn't take a lot of long time. So I'm gonna add the carrots and the beans in here. Sabji cannot hurry one of the I like to add the normal stuff that we usually put so i'm adding beans carrot oh my god hey where did you come from much okay so because i like to cook them a little bit <clears throat> So I add the ones that need need more cooking first. So in this case, it's gonna be the carrot and the beans. Put it, don't cook it completely. So now we're gonna add our peppers and our gobi. So I'll add like half of it. Gobi with this. Now we're going to go ahead and 
add a little bit of the sauce again. Soy sauce. I mean, I'm gonna add a little bit of oyster sauce. This is optional if you want to. Or you can add the mushroom sauce. Not necessary. We're gonna mix now. I already added a little bit of salt in the kukpa, so it should be enough I'm thinking. Once you mix everything, we are done. Without the lady for the Okay. Someone is ready. 